ask everyone to please mute your computers. Okay, we'd like to welcome Tony Finau into the interview room. Uh, Tony, I know a disappointing finish, uh, but what a great round of golf for you. Just get some comments if we can, please. Yeah, um, a little bit bitter right now. Just, uh, you know, coming off that playoff, I had a chance to win and on that first playoff hole and, um, you know, decided to play that putt a little downhill and shouldn't have. But, uh, you know, I played really nicely today, and I think that's going to be the big takeaways on the week for me is, um, you know, anytime I've had a chance to win, I haven't been the guy that went low. And today I was. So I can take a lot of confidence from that. That's something that I wanted to happen today. And, um, you know, to just prove to myself on Sundays, um, you know, that I can put myself in the thick of it and, and shoot a number. And I was able to do that this week. So I think at the end of the day, I'm going to be able to look back on that and, and have a lot of positives to take from it. And just uh, take us through that last hole with the putt, what you had on that putt there. Yeah, I, I, hit, a, I hit a proper putt. I just... I think sometimes in those situations, almost like match play, when you're forced to make a putt, you, you probably hit it harder than uh, you would normally hit it. And that's what I did there. I've been reading putts all week, you know, for speed that, you know, kind of ends up by the hole, maybe a foot by. That one I'd end up hitting a little harder. The situation, you know, calls for a putt that, you know, the next one's good. So um, I just, I hit a proper putt. I just hit it just barely too hard and, and miss it high side there. Okay, uh, we'll start questions with Doug Ferguson, Associated Press. I'm just curious from a, uh, from a playoff standpoint, I don't know if you can hear me, is that better? From a, from a playoff standpoint, when you're approaching the 10th green, you see the position you're in and what Max has got. Uh, just curious what was going through your mind there and, and uh, how that unfolded. Yeah, well, walking up, I just, I just hoping it wasn't my ball. That's the first thing. I, I, didn't, I couldn't tell who's, who's it was. I, was. I was a little right of his, but you can get some funny bounces over there. So uh, when I found out it wasn't mine, um, you know, I, I just, when he got over the shot um, to take a practice swing, I knew he was going to be able to hit it on the green, you know, pitch it up at least near the green. So uh, my biggest thing was just, you know, let's try, let's try and make three here. Um, you know, let's try and pitch it in. And if, we, if not, you know, let's try and make three here and just put, put the pressure on him. That was, that was my, my whole goal. I, I knew no matter what, he'd probably make four at least, or worst case scenario, he'd make four there. And sometimes in those situations, that guy's going to make three. You know, I played plenty of match play where that's happened. So... Um, it didn't change my, my thought process a lot. I just, I was trying to make three and, and I ended up making four. Thanks, Tony. Okay, let's go to Mark Canzaro, New York Post. Hey, Tony, um, I have two questions. One, one of which was, what was your reaction when you saw Max miss on, on the seven second hole there? Yeah, well, my caddy, uh, you know, I pretty much, I, I, you know, I thought it was, I thought he was about two feet from the hole. I watched it on the telecast, and I was just going to walk up and, and just watch. You know, I, I knew the chance of him missing were going to be really low, um, but it wasn't a gimme, so there was a, a small chance. But uh, when he lipped out, uh, you know, I, I, didn't put my, I didn't fold the tent yet, you know, if, if that's what you're asking. I knew if, if it wasn't a gimme, I have to keep myself in playing mode. You know, I, I can't expect... Uh, you know, I was expecting him to make that, but I was, I was ready to play after that no matter what. Um, and so, you know, I, it, was, it was definitely new life. And, you know, unfortunately, I had a chance to win on the first playoff hole with about a 10-footer. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to make that. But, um, yeah, I would say that, that's, that was my basic initial reaction. And just my second question is, you know, and you addressed a little bit before, obviously you saw a tremendous round, and so it's not like you threw anything away. But um, at what point do you get tired of all of these top tens and, 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 and yeah, I mean, it's, it's bittersweet to be in this position again, but I mean, I never get tired of playing good golf, you know, and that's, that's what I tell myself every week. It's like, you know, I, sports is about winning. I've said that many times. I grew up trying to win every tournament I play, every tournament I play, and nothing's changed. Um, but I know at the end of the day, you're going to lose a lot more times you're going to win on the PGA Tour. Unfortunately, unfortunately for me, that's come really close in the last few years. Um, but I, I always challenge myself to play good golf, and that's all I try to do. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a quitter. I'm, I'm not someone that's going to, you know, fade away into the, <laughs> into the sunset because I'm not, I can't win. You know, uh, in these situations, I had another great shot today. Um, I mean, I don't know what else, uh, what else I can say other than I enjoy playing good golf and. 
um, one of these days uh, it'll happen for me, and, and hopefully it turns into kind of a domino effect. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. All right, looks like a couple more. Let's go to Adam Shupak, Golf Week. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. All right. Do we have any additional questions? Nope. Okay. Tony, Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it.